everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I want to talk about that Saints pick looking really good. You guys see it. Went from number, I think, six to number four, but the Lions win. I just needed Vegas to win. Vegas, why y'all couldn't win? Um, Yeah, with the Lions win, Saints lost. All I really needed was Vegas to win. And also, Vikings, man, even though we beat them in the beginning of the year, they're a potential threat. Not gonna lie, definitely a potential threat. And also, I had to make this video after watching that Cowboys game. Cowboys are buns. Dak is buns. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Let's get into it, man. You know, I'll get into Dallas first. Dallas kept saying, you know, Dak this. If Dak that, well, he threw about 300 or 200 plus yards. Two interceptions, what, three touchdowns or two touchdowns? I mean, come on. Come on. I guess that Green Bay Packers that lost to, I think, to Washington. They lost like four straight games. I like Kristen Watson, butter hands, cook y'all. Come on. Dak is two and two. Cooper Cup is four and one. That's all let me say. Dak is two and two. Cooper Cup is four and one this season. Might be a QB controversy there. I don't know. I don't know. Once again, Cooper Rush is four and one. Dak is two and two. He fumbled that game. Definitely in the beginning. He picked it up. So it was Dak fault they lost, and that secondary that they lost was supposed to be. Diggs and these guys and them Parsons, you know, C.D. Lamb is the best wide receiver. And what's he had a good game in the division with all these pieces. Tony Pollard going off. Still lost that game. Still lost that game. Six and three. And also Cowboys have a history of not being a wild card team for the past I, I can't even name the years. It's been so long. The only way the Cowboys really get in the playoffs is if they win the division. They really haven't been a wild card team in recent history. They have to win the NFC East to be a wild card. So we look at this Packers game in the future. And if Cowboys can't be a wild card team because the Packers are a wild card team, that's their fault. That's their fault because that's a game you got to win. You got to win. And then Mike McCarthy want to get all aggressive, go for it. On the f Man, it ain't my job to break down the Cowboys game. But let's get into this draft pick, man. Four looking good. Even if we don't take anybody, you can tr trade back and get like an extra first round next year or whatever. Or you could literally draft one of the best guys in this draft. I'm cool with that, too. But there's going to be somebody behind us that want, probably want a quarterback. They probably going to want a quarterback. And they're going to want to trade up. And we could have two first-round picks next year, too. So um, this Saints pick is looking fantastic. We could be in the top five and possibly have the last pick of the draft. That's crazy. That is crazy. We 8-0 and and got a top five pick. Where do that happen? That's great. That's awesome. Um, Like I said, Vikings are a potential threat. They beat the Bills. Who I, I think the Bills are low-key being exposed. I think Josh Allen is low-key being exposed. Now, I love Josh Allen. I got videos in the past talking about how much I love him. But I will always say this about Josh Allen. He's going to give you a pick. He's going to give you a pick or two. The Jets exposed it and the Vikings exposed it. He It's just his nature. I don't know why. They can't win all one score games for whatever reason. But Vikings beat them. And they said they one of the best teams. They got the quote-unquote MVP. But Josh Allen threw 10 picks this year. That's not good. That's not good. J um, Jalen Hurst didn't even throw 10 picks last year. That, that, that's not good, but that's what Josh Allen do. 
Got that big arm. He'll give you a lot of touchdowns, but he's going to give you a lot of picks. Now, it's up to your team how they do once they get that pick. Do they score? Do they get the ball right back to the Bills? Because Bills will move that ball. But he's going to give you a pick, and it cost them. It cost them this game big time. Big time. But Vikings look good. Only lost one game. I thought they was going to get their second loss. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. Of course, we beat them um, early in the weeks. Uh, I mean, early in the season. So, am I afraid of the Vikings? No. But I will be a liar to y'all if I say they're not a potential threat. Like, if it's the Eagles and the Vikings, uh, NFC Championship game, that's going to be one hell of a fight. I can't say, yeah, we're just going to whoop them. Nah, that's going to be a fight. It's definitely going to be a fight, man. But this week was fantastic. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. I knew the Giants was going to win, so I nah, I didn't really count that. But Vegas would have won. This probably would have been a perfect week. Cowboys drop. Um, Giants are 7-2. Eagles are still undefeated. We will see Monday. Hopefully, we can keep that streak alive. Vikings look good. Um, Cowboys look like frauds. Dak 2-2. Two and two. Cooper, Cush, Cooper Rush is 4-1. and one. And the reason why I keep bringing that up is because I think we beat the better quarterback. As, as of this year, Eagles beat the better quarterback. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about the games? Um, Very good week. Still got Monday. That would be the last game of the week. But with the Cowboys lost, Giants won, um, our pick getting is more stop to it. Now we fourth instead of sixth or fifth. That's good. And, um, yeah, man, very fun Sunday. Sunday night football come on tonight. I will be watching that. I'm not even sure who play. I'm so happy the Cowboys lost. I'm happy the Cowboys lost. I mean, it's time for us just to take the division. I needed the Vikings to lose, but it is what it is. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.